Now we will try to test the video quality of the drone. The SD card is inserted at the bottom of the drone here. First of all, we will try to record the video to the phone by connecting the phone to the drone. And then we'll try to record it to an SD card on the drone. The drone uses a regular SD card, which is normally used in the cell phones nowadays. And the remote control has a video button, which is located here, and the photo button to take a photo. Uh, if you don't use a phone, you still can use this button, but you need to remember when you push the button so that to know if the video is recording or not. You may forget during the flight whether you push the button or not. So that's the thing to keep in mind. Uh, taking picture is easy. Just pushing the button, it will take the picture. So now I'm connected to the drone and I have the picture on my cell phone already. It looks good. When the screen is small, the quality looks to be good. And there's a button to start recording the video from the drone, even if it's not flying. So you can see the red seconds starting counting. And uh, now we'll fly up. Now we are recording to the phone from the drone. When you remove an SD card, it automatically records to the phone if there is a Wi-Fi connection with your phone. Now I have put my phone into this kind of a mount retracted from the remote control and there's a space inside so that the buttons don't get affected and we are flying now the drone. Now it's evening time, uh, the sun is really bright. It looks like the picture is not coming continuously, it has like some interruption and it happened in the previous models as well. But this is supposed to be a Wi-Fi 5 standard. The speed of the connection should be higher. Trying not to fly it and keep it in a stable point because there's a lot of vibration when the drone is moving and it affects the camera quality, it affects the picture quality because when there's vibration, these cheap cameras usually don't have stabilizers. getting back now. Let's use the home button. I'll just use the home button to bring it back. So I'm pushing the home button and you see the drone is coming back now. And the drone has returned back home successfully.
in here. We're going to stop recording by pushing the button. And if I look whether I have anything recorded, so I see I pushed one button to make a picture. And then I have also another menu here. I have a video here as well. And it looks like we're good.